what's up i've got my hair out and we all know that my hair is a mess right now so we're not gonna get into it i just got back from work and and then i popped into the shops to buy some things that i normally run out of a lot of the time this is going to be a start of another you know week in my life kind of thing vlog um bits and pieces of my week and then i'm gonna upload it next week i feel like it works better that way um so i am actually craving a smoothie because i didn't have one yesterday so i went to go pick up some spinach and i typically like the one in the packs that i've showed you before but they were out of that instead they had these so i had to get them anyway so i got three of them and um some eggs running out of eggs i have this really really cool egg container let me show you 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 guys would really like it so this is the egg container hey it's pretty cool right i picked this up from this pack and then I left it at my sister's house for a week because I'd forgotten. And pretty much, yeah, it's got eggs in it. So typically I don't add new eggs to these. I just sit it in the fridge like this. And then as soon as this one goes empty, then obviously I will replenish because I feel like it's not a good idea to mix the slightly older eggs with the more newer ones. So then I went into clicks because... <laughs> Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. it's that time of the month valerie is here so i normally use the uh with the lilette's temps i normally use the medium pack i think medium is the blue one the blue pack but in the first day or sometimes even two if i'm quite heavy i use the super they're just more comfortable and i have to change them like every half an hour or something like that it's, it's pretty cool um so i had to pick these up because i was running out got some tissues baby soft tissues which i don't need to show you but what i do want to show you is hopefully this special will still be around next week by the time i upload this what i do want to show you are these cups so as you can see these are three cups one two three and i got them from clicks on a special three for two three for two and look at them look at them look at these cups though and you know you know i'm a plant mommy you know so i just fell in love with them these mugs not cups and they're all different but they're all about plants um so this one looks like this uh this one looks like this and the tip is yellow and then this one looks like that and the tip is red the rim the rim is red and then this one looks like this how cute are these and the rim is green i love them so much i'm actually thinking of giving one to my good friend but she watches my vlogs she's gonna see this oh but i don't see her until the weekend i'm actually thinking of giving her this one this this part of the vlog is for the grown-ups okay from woolies i picked up some wine this part is for the grown-ups all right um one of my favorite favorite range of wines are the springfield um estate wines and my favorite white is a life of stone life from stone life of stone and then my favorite red from the same estate is this one which is a work of time the work of time sorry i'm so sorry this one this one is the work of time i love it so much that i bought two of them because your girl's thinking of having some wine tonight just to settle down you know maybe you know for dinner you know and one of my favorite sauvignon blancs which i tasted in mauritius and i really really enjoyed it woolly stocks this it's very very hard to find at the other like at the pick and pays checkers what have you but woolly stocks it and the red is about 210 which are really reasonably priced wines trust me wines are really expensive and then this one is about 170 or something like this this is the iona wine this is sauvignon blanc it's white all right let me put the stuff away make myself a smoothie 
and maybe I might touch base later. I am going to work this week, so yeah, a touch in here and there, but yeah, that's that's the same. So there's this little section here, and I want this top part to be um just a space for the books that I have. These are this doesn't even dent the amount of books that I have, but these are books that I've read recently and some of them I haven't read. Like if you look closely, The Woman in the Window. Whoops. The Woman in the Window, Karen Slaughter there, The Silent Patient, of course I've read. Beloved, I haven't read. Uh these three down here I've read. So I just wanted this space here to be a um just a, a nice little feature of books i don't want to make them too much um uh, but i just i don't know so i'm gonna decorate it now because this is basically the room where i read for now i just want to make this little section like a, a nice a nice to look at for people who like books but don't be fooled none of them will leave this house ever but <laughs> Um, yeah, they're nice to keep. I actually need to take this devotional by Marion Williamson because I've made notes in this. So I'd rather keep that upstairs with me. I think I have a little bit of a setup going. Uh, there is some order to it, not really. Uh, I'm not quite sure. But at the corner there, we've got Rupi Kaur, and Rupi Kaur, of course, does like um, poetry and you know, sort of prose. Um, so I put her there at the corner, and then down here we've got uh, some of Chimamanda's books. Um, and Paolo Coelho as well got Sally Rooney really, really didn't enjoy this book really didn't enjoy this book I was actually quite disappointed but I'm hoping that actually I need to go on to take a lot now maybe conversation with friends I can pick that up hopefully have it delivered soon before Friday maybe I'll read that oh no I know what I'm going to read next um, yesterday I finished my dark Vanessa incredible i'm actually thinking this spot would be a really good spot to do my reading reviews just to sit here and have the books in the background um so i finished my dark vanessa yesterday and uh by kate russell kate elizabeth russell really really good this section here is the more darker reads including lolita many of the excerpts in this book were taken from this book uh there's many many references to lolita which is a very this is probably my number one darkest ever darkest wow sickening really disgusting um but so well written book that i've ever read this is by Vlad, Vlad, i can never say his name vladimir nabokov and it's a really really good book um and yeah my dark vanessa is called the lolita of our time the now time um i really wanted to read beloved uh by tony morrison next but i really really want to read the one that i'm going to show you now next um some paulo coelho stuff these are two short stories um and naledi by uh Kukubusani dube i have Shomu and the other one i forgot it i think my sister has them um uh, and yeah, as we move on, got Michelle Obama, um, Mark Manson. I think this is a really nice read for gents. I feel like gents really, really enjoy Mark Manson books. I wasn't too crazy about them, not going to lie. But this one I haven't read, so who knows. Um, and then here are the more self-help, um, yeah, you know, living well. I might change it up. Have maybe some fake plants here and there just to decorate the space. I'll figure it out. Um, but for now, I like it. It's not so bad. Good morning, everybody. Um, it's 
bright and early i think it's just before eight i am actually on my way to work I'm dressed in tights and a sweater. So there's a couple of things that there's a couple of things I need to do at the office. And then I'll probably be there till about midday and then come back. Uh, but I need to pack a breakfast sort of lunchy breakfast kind of thing now. I've let my hair run loose today because I just need to give my hair some water, some sun some air let it breathe a little bit because i always have it wrapped up so yeah let me go downstairs pack my lunch and then i can head out I just got home. Uh, work. I'll be back. So, today was a really long day. I thought that I would at the very latest leave work at 1. But then I had a little crisis to attend to. And I ended up leaving work at uh, half past 3, 20 to 4, something like that. Um... Then I came straight, oh, then I went to Woolies to go pick up some baby spinach. I was out of baby spinach, no. Uh, then I went to Woolies to go pick up ruby grapefruit and then juice. And then I came home and I've been trying to juggle work and other work. And uh, <laughs> uh, so, I don't know. I'm tired. I just, I just, I don't know how I'm keeping it together. I'm really tired. Uh, churning out content. It's work. It's my other work. It's, yeah. Yeah. Really, really tired. But feeling very good. Feeling motivated. Feeling productive. Um, it's five o'clock. Luckily, I've got some leftovers in the fridge so I know I don't have to cook um, I'm gonna try and relax probably try and relax for about an hour or so not work not open my laptop my laptop is right here right here not open my laptop nothing and then I'll probably start working from around so I do look crusty don't I it's fine whatever it's a new morning it's my hair my hair makes me look crusty it's my authentically black hair, which makes me look crusty. I'm actually on my way to work, um, but I'm not taking my camera with me today because you saw in the footage yesterday what happens when I'm at work. Uh, I'm going to try and come back earlier today. Ooh, I'm going to try and come back earlier today. Um, but yeah, I just, I just want to go to work, do what I have to do, and then come home. Today, I am very very casual because as you can see i'm in tracks tracks and sneakers uh yeah keeping it very very casual very very baggy because i'm very tired and i'll talk to you about all of that uh when i come back over a glass of wine so i just got back okay so i just got back from work um i'm tired i don't feel like doing any work i am here and I really just I don't know I feel like watching a where are those okay um I don't know I feel like just watching a movie like Netflix and watch something and relax and just crash on my couch for the rest of the afternoon evening I've got plans tomorrow so got some things I need to sort out um and what else yeah oh i wanted to show you two books that i had ordered that came in oh i finished the silent patient my dark vanessa 
um, normal people, Sally, Sally Rooney. And now I'm currently a quarter way through this one. This is Roxanne Gay's Hunger. Um, and I feel like I want to read this one in conjunction with this one. So this is one of the new books that came in uh, that I was waiting for. The book in itself is not new. Um, I f feel like the book is from, let's check the year, uh, 2016. So this is a 2016 book, um, but it's new to me. I haven't, uh, I've been waiting for exclusive books to get it, and they've got it. This is Homegoing by Ya Gyasi, um, a Nigerian author. And um, can't wait to read this. Apparently, this is an awesome book. So I'm going to try to read this in conjunction with this because this is more of a memoir. Um, and this, of course, is a fiction novel. And then the second one, which I'm very, very excited to read, and it has a lot of papers in it, uh, papers that show that I had ordered it. So they had the paper in the in the book like that but yeah and a bookmark finally got a nice bookmark um this is a uh, mystical thriller and this is my first copy of uh first book by ruth ware and very very excited to read this book this is the turn of the key i've heard nothing but can we focus on the book? Thank you. This is <laughs> the turn of the key. I've heard nothing but great, great, great reviews on this. Mostly, mostly. Um, some people were unsure about it, but they didn't quite dislike it. And I feel like that's what makes it great. Um, uh, but to, not today. Today I'm really going to relax. I've been, I've been working crazy. So I am... Um, really not keen on reading, um, but I am probably going to start this on Sunday. Hey, so as you could tell, I just woke up. <laughs> I was having wine yesterday, I finished a full bottle of wine and it was amazing. And I woke up and I passed out I think around 9 and then I woke up around 10.30, uh, 11 with a insane headache. My Velangati grandpa, if you know, if you drink, then you know how valuable grandpa is. If you're hearing anything, it's the machine in the back. My Velangati grandpa, Malala. And I slept and I woke up again around the one, two, and I've been up since. So I don't know what's going on. I woke up, I did a little bit of tidying. I am going to be leaving the house for the day. I'll be back tomorrow. So I woke up, I need to wear earrings. I woke up and I watered my plants. Um, I'll bring them back in before I leave. And then I'll water them again tomorrow. And then I did a load of laundry. That laundry is my sweaters. <laughs> the ones that I wear when I'm sitting at home. The black one, the gray one, and some track pants. And I wanted to that. pause my machine quickly and show you. This, this, seeing these jars like this drives me insane. I ain't even gonna lie to you. I hate seeing them with so little food in there. So what I normally do when I get to this stage of my food I I pull out a smaller jar, right? I pull out a smaller jar because now you don't want to mix new oats with old oats because then it defeats the purpose. This old one will always stay at the bottom and then, you know, you have new oats. I mean, nah, nah, nah. Nah, nah guys, nah, nah. So what I do is I take out a smaller jar which has already been washed. I'm just eat dust. That's why I was cleaning it out. And then I, well, I wasn't expecting it to spill. And then I do this and I put it, you know, in a smaller jar and then I close it up and I put this jar in the cupboard, just in the front so that when I make my oats, I finish this off before I use another one. Oh, what I'm doing the same thing with the muesli as well because it, it really drives me mad to see. There we go. There we go. Ah, much more precision. There we go. So I am gonna wash out these bigger jars 
and where's that? Keep these in the pantry as well, but keep them in the front so that when people want to make breakfast, they finish off these before they attack the new ones. However, I am going to wash these out and then add fresh uh, muesli and oats, which I do have in the house. So let me do that. If you are looking for a set of knives, I picked these up from Take A Lot. I'm not even gonna lie, okay? I love these knives. They are so sharp. These are the Berlinger House knives. Uh, they're German knives. And I picked these up for, I think, about 800 Rand, somewhere there. And they are fantastic. And they're always the center of attention when people walk into my kitchen, especially around Father's Day. My father looked at these and he was like, wow, these are nice knives. Definitely a bargain. They've got different types, different designs. They've got, I think, matte black ones as well. Really, really try and check them out. But I felt like this color really matches with, I don't know, kind of like the flow of the kitchen. So the colors in my kitchen. So really try them out. They're really good. And the stand swings, which is so, 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 so cool. So, so cool. And it comes with two, four, five knives, um, pair of scissors, and a knife sharpener. So, so good. So, so good. All right. Uh, what's good? What's good? Um, so... I'm done. My green juice is in here. My water with lemon is in my cute ass Starbucks water bottle. So, so cute. I used to use it at the gym, so maybe I'm trying to go down memory lane or something. I don't know. But I'm about to leave. So, I'm going to answer. I put up a picture on my community tab a couple of days ago and I said every time I do these home vlogs at the end of the vlog I will answer one or two questions so if you've got any questions for me put them here because this is where I'm gonna look when I want to find the questions that I can answer so here we are I am looking I am looking um, there is all right, I will answer. There's a lot of questions. Please answer this question. Okay, baby girl. This is from Godani Maposa. What are some of the challenges you faced post-university? Did you get a financial head start from your parents? <laughs> oh, no. After completing your qualification? And lastly, what did you do that made you successful in your career field? I'm 25 and you inspire me daily. Thank you, baby girl. Thank you so much. Uh, there's a lot of questions in this question. Um, so some of the challenges that I faced post-university, I struggled to get a job. I'm not even going to lie to you guys. I went to probably maybe between 8 and 10 uh, um, interviews before I got a job. And around that time, I was working for my father like as an intern or whatever. He was literally paying peanuts, okay? Okay, um, but it got me through, you know, paying for petrol and all of that because I was working at, at his offices pushing admin and literally being like an intern. And I, I struggled. I went to so many interviews. They would come back and say, you were great. Um, just a few people on the panel didn't like you. The others did. Whatever, whatever, blah, blah, blah. Until I landed a job with ESCOM, which was a while uh, after university, I think maybe I landed the job with ESCOM. I think I was 23. I, I can't quite remember. Yeah, I landed the job with ESCOM. But in between around that time, I was going to constant interviews, uh, just not getting anything. I was so, so, so despondent. Uh, but luckily my dad said, you know what, come, come work with me, push paper until you can find a job. And that's exactly what I did. And I found a job at ESCOM. Um, what did you do that made you successful in your career field? I don't think I'm successful in my career field. I think I could be better. I, I just, I think I've said this a lot on my channel. I don't feel like I'm successful where I 
am right now. And because I'm pushing another passion on the side, I need one of these two passions to be really successful. <laughs> but uh, I, I don't, I'm not successful. What I do with my career field is I study a lot and I read up on um, changes in my uh, industry, changes in, you know, so all of that. But I don't, I wouldn't call myself successful. But thank you that you think that. Thank you. Um, uh, from Jessica. I don't want to butcher your surname, so tell me if I'm wrong or right, but Jessica says, how do you manage working, doing YouTube, taking care of your house, and deal with your personal life, like how do you juggle all of that? By the way, you're so organized, and everything of yours looks in order. Thank you, but it's not always in order. Just reading that first part, working, doing YouTube, taking care of your house, dealing with your personal life, it's a lot. It's a lot, and there are moments where I break down. I just don't film that. There are moments where I feel like I am um, just doing a lot, and it's just too much. And uh, I do, I do have moments of mental breakdowns and all of that. But, but I segment everything. And time management is very important to me. And I'm fortunate enough that I've, I can get somebody to help me out with keeping the house clean and like doing my laundry and all of that. And um, so that, that I have a little bit of help with. Um, working and doing YouTube, I honestly, it's a time management thing. So when I'm sitting, if you pay attention to my vlogs and whatever and all of that, I'm a homebody creature of habit i'm a homebody so i'm constantly home so what i do is i manage my time very wisely in that i know that today i'm recording and when i record i record three or four videos that day so i know that for the next two weeks dependent on how many times in that week that those two weeks I'll be uploading for the next two weeks I'm covered I then can relax and don't worry about having to put content up and all of that time management you know so uh, I don't know I feel like it's just an issue of time managing your time if you need to write down a roster of how you want to do it and whatever I just make mental notes with how I'm gonna do today I'm gonna do this tomorrow I'm gonna do this blah 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 I'm gonna do this that's pretty much how I manage it it's a time management thing but I do have moments where I feel like it's just too much and I can't do it anymore okay I'll leave the questions there for now I hope you guys enjoy this segment of the vlogs that's this is what's going to be happening from here on out um yeah until then I will see you all in the next vlog I need to go I'll see you in the next vlog Bye. um so i'm slotting in this part of my vlog <laughs> uh with my friend she's coming in from mafiking and i had to see her so that's why it's a magal you have a social distancing key key 11 but the thing is yeah <laughs> situation right now <laughs> yeah we literally so what do you think of dash kitchen I feel like people that have eaten this stuff, no, people are seeing my bed, but it's fine. Oh, we don't care. It's nice. People it's that neat. have eaten Dash Kitchen, this is to the to the na ladies and to the Tandy Gamas. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. People that have eaten this stuff, mm -hmm. like we've seen that it's good based on their reaction, but I don't think anybody can really say how good it is. Until it's life changing. Have it. And I only say, she knows, yeah. I only say life changing if yeah. something is really, really great. Yeah. So this yeah. shit is good it's, it's really so fucking good. Yeah. i'm sorry to swear on your channel babe but it's so fucking <laughs> guys if you want a seafood boil i'm not even getting paid for this shit but dash kitchen dash it's kitchen so sweetie it's so dash hard. kitchen dash, listen ah. listen dash has been dash i'm quite impressed um and you know what the funny thing is she's the one who constantly would say no for the past like three months palisa would say no we need to try this because she watches tandy and the lady and what have you however she was on my case and because she's in joburg and i thought okay yeah she made sure that we get it and she's happy 
and I'm happy. I'm quite impressed. I am. I'm really, really very impressed. Oh, eh, eh, eh. And then remember to cheers, cheers. And then remember to king lockdown party. Yeah, but for homonati, man, homonati. And then return and as a party, you love on all as a party. Mm. We're relaxing. Mm. This is a good friend of mine relaxing. So, yeah, man. But Dash Kitchen, wow. Dash Kitchen, wow. I'm mm. really impressed. So, so impressed. I mean, this is huge. Mm. For two people, we're not even going to finish that. But no. it's crazy. It's crazy. Those lobsters there in the center there. Wow. Wow. Yeah, all right. <laughs> We're gonna go, we're gonna eat our lobsters and all of that and I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye! Bye!